Guys, Charles Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing a quick unboxing, and hopefully we can get this bad boy charged up, and we'll get a quick test try, but it's Guakai 4x4, 116 scale brush monster truck. Now, what was interesting about this bad boy is the original price is like $61, which is not too bad for a 16 scale brush four wheel drive monster truck with LED lights. 61 bucks is not too bad, but the additional bonus was is this thing is actually on sale 50% off at the current time of this video. So you can get this thing shipped to your door from Amazon for like 30 bucks. And they have a couple different options available. You can get this, um, which just has a 390 brush motor. You can get, um, they have a buggy. You can get the um, upgraded version of this that has a five 40 brush motor in there, which is going to be insane for a freaking 16 scale monster truck. And you guys know I also have the 18 scale version, which I also have right here. This is the 18 scale version, which is a tad bit smaller. You can see there. And here is the actual box for the 18 scale version right there. So we can do some size comparisons. This so what you guys seen. I did a video on, on this a while ago. So you can check that out. And this thing, I freaking love this thing. It's quick real fast for its size and it's got a 380 brush motor in there but this one comes with a 390 so i thought it was pretty cool that um we go ahead and check it out since it was on sale so i went ahead and picked it up so you guys see a 16 scale four wheel drive independent shocks all that stuff i don't think it's going to be oil filled shocks here are some specifications on the side of the box you can see there check it out so it's a couple of different colors i think i I can't remember. I think I got the blue one. There's a blue one here on top. I think I got the blue one. So let's just crack this body up. I figure for it being on sale, the price, you really can't beat it. And get this cracked open. Cutting that open. Let's take a look and see what we get here in this box. Add up out of the box there. So we're taking a look at what we're getting in the box. That's the contents of the box. Um, it does look like we have a truck in there. So we go ahead and take that out as well. Wow. Nice, big, colorful instruction manual. So that's pretty cool. I like that. That's especially nice for kids and beginners to be nice and colorful. You usually don't get something this big and colorful on these cheaper RCs, so that's pretty good that they give you that. And look at that, that's what I was looking for, a parts layout. So it showed you how everything pretty much goes. So that's a good deal with that. Taking this off, it's gonna be our radio there. Take a look at that in a second. Take this up off of here, and okay. So, ooh, so it looks like we got two bodies, two bodies there, so I wasn't expecting that, so we get two bodies there. And also looking at this box, we got um, <clears throat> our radio in this box. Here's the remote there, and also our goodie bag. So that's everything in that box. So yeah, this is pretty much the same thing you get with the 18 scale version. You're gonna need uh, two AA batteries, which is a good thing. Not too bad, you're gonna have a steering tire. That's our steering trim, speed uh, switch on and off, LED indicator, so. Like I said, not too bad. There's no foam or nothing on the steering wheel, but I haven't had any troubles with the 18 scale version. I mean, it fits pretty decent in the hand. You pretty much get what you pay for there with that. And looking at the goodie bag, it looks like you get uh, a, look, look at that. You get, of course you get a Phillips screwdriver to take off this uh, screw here to put the batteries in. They give you some double A's. So that's a completely 100% ready to run kit for 30 bucks is not a bad deal. Here's our battery here. It looks like it'll be a lithium ion battery. Yep, lithium ion battery. And it's a 1,000 milliamp hour battery, 7.4 volts. So it's a 1,000 2S LiPo or lithium ion, I should say, with a Dean's connector. So you can use other batteries, which is not too bad for this kit. And here is your charger there, of course. And it looks like you get some extra body clips and some extra Phillips head screws because these 
wheels are head, uh, held on by Phillips head screws. And speaking of wheels, the tire compound seems to be not too bad. Pretty decent, medium to hard. And I don't, there's no foam in there, but for this size of a vehicle, I don't think that's going to be too bad. I mean, the vehicle looks pretty nice. I'm kind of excited we got two bodies with that. So let's take these body clips off. Two bodies. This is a pretty impressive little kit. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Even at $60 price, I don't think that's too bad of a deal. So giving them the bodies, there's the bodies that you get with that right there. And they look like pretty decent bodies. So uh, I'm not sure which body I'm going to use, but hmm, they look pretty good. I like them both. So I want to kind of be like my basher body and want to kind of be like my shelf body. So look at the look at those. Those look pretty decent. Kind of happy with that there. So looking up the inside. Ooh, and two batteries. So we get an extra battery in there. That's pretty decent. I wouldn't, you get a lot with this kit, guys. That's pretty decent. So you get a, um, it has a five wire servo. So five wire little mini servo. So you will have to, if you wanted to change everything out, you would have to change out the servo and this two in one ESC, which is pretty common on these little cheaper trucks. But I never really had a problem or issue using these. Um, here is our battery bay, and it's kind of just unlatches, and you just swing that open, and that battery door opens there. Looks like we do have um, some adjustability with the shocks there, so you can adjust those. And these don't, these are plastic. They look like they would be aluminum cap, but they're not. These are plastic. Um, so like you do got some LED lights going to the front here. So there you got some lights there going to the front, which is pretty cool. You get a lot with this kit, guys. So I'm not gonna keep jabber drawing or doing too much talking. Get these batteries charged up. And we're gonna go for a run with this because I don't know which body I'm gonna use. I kind of like the pink body. I, I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but we'll get this bad boy out and get it running. All right, guys, <clears throat> so I got some batteries charged up. This is going to be our first run of this little Guwaki 116 scale brushed RC car, guys. Now I'm going to make sure my speed switch is turned all the way up. Make sure the speed switch is turned all the way up. We got a car coming, of course. You guys know how that go. Uh, as soon as this car go past, we are going to get this bad boy running since we are losing our daylight. I'm trying to also make sure my steering trim is right. Might be good to go. I get this uh, camera adjusted just a tad bit. So, uh, yeah, get this camera adjusted just a tad bit here. Give me a minute to adjust. Give me a moment to adjust this camera here. All right. So that's not full throttle. <laughs> Just trying to get used to it. Uh, the way I gotta hold this remote is kind of interesting. All right. Ah, flipped it already. You said our body looks good. LED lights look really good. Get the lights right there, guys. Be new for the bad boy. So that 390 motor gonna have plenty of power and torque. So. Uh, so we can get it going. Oh yeah. If I could just imagine how fast the one with the 540 was gonna be to get the bright. I went ahead and went with the pink body, that pink body, I, I just think it looks nice. And the tires look nice as well. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty fast. Four throttle. Nice. 
body up already. I try to move her body so I would do it. Yeah, that pink body, I went with the pink body. I just think that pink color kind of pop on it. It was quick, guys. For 390 brush, it's quick. I'll give it that. We'll definitely get a uh, speed test out at a later date. You guys know this is the first run out of the box. Let's see how that bad boy handles. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh get this bad boy off road. So we got him off road here for a second, see how he fares. Coming a little bit of the rougher terrain. Alright, not too bad. Of course, I'm not hawking it full throttle either, but just kind of testing the boy out. So. Now, of course, no oil for shock, so he is a little bit bouncy, but put it on the grass. And the grass hasn't been cut, so it's a little thick. Push it for smaller, smaller 16 scale, but it's going, going through a pretty decent. Look at that. Some lights are bright. So I'm curious to see how they look at night. Not too bad. Alright, let's see how it fares. We're hitting some jumps. Wow, okay. Ooh, camera slipped there for a second, my bad. The way this controller is, it's kind of weird. I got, the way I gotta hold the camera, so it's kind of affecting my driving somewhat. But it's all good. We like a challenge. Guys, this is not too bad. For 60 bucks, then you get it 50% off if they still got that coupon. I don't know how long that coupon is gonna last, but even at the full price of $60, I don't think you can beat the beat the price of this. You're getting two batteries, two bodies. LED lights. Yeah, this is not bad. I'm not sure how long of a run time we're gonna get with them uh, thousand milliamp batteries, but they give you two. And this is actually a joy to run. I'm actually enjoying this. I do actually like that pink body. It's hot. landing on his feet, so that's a good thing. And uh, even though it's got just friction and shocks, it's not really affecting it too much. It's jumping really good, nice and level. LBC. So vice is flashing, so that might be LBC. I mean it's still going. Oh no it's not. I'm about to say it's still going pretty strong, so I don't know why the lights are flashing. Let's see we hit one or two more jumps. I say it's still going pretty strong. I was just noticing the lights are flashing. I'm not really sure why they do that. Maybe they just do that. 
Yeah, but they still going pretty strong. I haven't noticed no power, no power losses or nothing like that. Like it dumps. Nice little truck. Nice little truck. Wow. Ooh, first time it flipped over. Look at that chassis is nice and clean. No scratches or nothing like that. We might have a winner on our hands, guys. We might have another little. Huh, get that stick. Budget little basher here. For the cheap cheap. For the low key. Uh, of course, we will get a speed test and all that stuff at a later date, but just a quick first run out of the box. So don't get like, subscribe, catch you guys in the next episode. Deuces.